and welcome back to Unnecessary Inventions. So for today's invention, we have a brand new toy in the Unnecessary Studios. I feel like I'm saying that a lot recently, but it's just, where is it? It is just out of frame right here. So let's check it out and get this project going. Oh yeah, and the new toy that I have, I'm going to be giving one away. So stick around in this video to find out exactly how you can win one for yourself. It has nothing to do with the gator grips. We'll put these guys back. But right here, just underneath the wall of unnecessary, we have the brand new toy, which is the works a Landroid. So this thing is a robotic lawnmower. So picture like a Roomba, but instead it's for the outside of your house and it just drives around and cuts all of your grass completely hands-free. So a couple weeks ago, Works got in touch with me to show off some tools that they're working on. And they asked me if I would be interested in trying out some of their power tools, and I said under one condition. You send me one of your Landroid mowers and let me build something completely unnecessary for it. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. I haven't actually seen this thing in action. I've only watched a few videos online. So let's hit the start button and see exactly how this thing works. Get it? The company is called Works and we're seeing how it works. So here it is in the base station. I already laid out the perimeter that we need to use for the Landroid itself so that it knows where to stop and turn around. So I created a nice little circle for it to let us hit the power button. Do I just hit start? I think I just hit start. Oh, it's moving. <laughs> If only I had AstroTurf for it to actually pretend to cut. Uh oh, it's coming towards me. Mercy stop. So my thoughts for this project in the works Landroid is that I wanna turn this thing into my own personal bartender while it's mowing my lawn. Cause that seems unnecessary enough, right? But coming up from the base of the machine, I want some sort of shaft that holds up a shelf. And on that shelf, we're gonna have a bunch of beers. So when the Landroid passes us in the lawn, you can reach down, grab a beer and have a nice cold one while this thing does all the work for you. And on the back battery door here is where I decided we're gonna attach the bar cart. I figured out you could unscrew this top section of the battery door. So all I need to do is redesign this in Fusion 360 so that it can hold a shelf. And to save a little bit of time, maybe it should just look like this. Here we have our brand new battery door. So this is the original part that I took off of the Landroid, and here is the part that I completely redesigned and 3D printed so that we could attach our bar cart. It should just perfectly fit onto there, and just like the old one, it now attaches. So let us keep things moving along. Let's go hit the 3D printer and get working on the rest of these parts. While those things get going on the 3D printer, we still have to get one of the most important things for this entire project. The actual cans of beer that this thing is gonna be carrying around. Luckily, I have a beer connection, so let's go get those things now. So within like one mile of the Unnecessary Studio, we've got like 12 breweries that brew exquisite Vermont beer. Luckily, I have a friend at my very favorite one, and we're actually just about to drive past it. There is Zero Gravity Beer, but we're actually gonna head over to his house to get the beer itself. Okay, here we are. And a nice socially distant pickup. There it is waiting for me right now. Let's grab it. A nice full stash of beer. All right, let's get back to the studio. And the highly important task has been accomplished. And it looks like, it looks like the final parts are coming off of the 3D printer now. So now I think it's time. Let's do a super fast rundown of all these 3D printed parts that I made. We've got the taller base cup holders, and there's 14 of these guys. The smaller upper can holders, we got 14 of these as well. The perimeter base holder, we've got four of these to make a full circle, and the center solo cup base. But before we start working on these guys, I gotta assemble the base that's gonna attach to the Landroid. So let me do that, and we'll start seeing this project finally come together. And we 
have the table attached to the Landroid ready for all the finishing parts that we had 3D printed. I also laser cut these acrylic sheets that'll perfectly fit each one of the beers and those 3D printed rings that we have. And now we just need to get all of these extra pieces attached to the base and we will have ourselves a lawn mower bartending device because I am starting to get parched now. So I'm gonna finish up all the rest of those features and then we're gonna head to a backyard and actually cut a lawn and see how well this thing actually works. Oh, and I almost forgot, I am giving away a brand new Works Landroid robotic lawnmower. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to this channel and then go ahead down below, comment absolutely anything on this video and I'm gonna pick one lucky person and ship them a brand new Landroid. All right, I'm gonna get back to building and we can test out this brand new unnecessary invention. And we have ourselves the final version of the Landroid bartender finished up. Let's take a look. So I added in all of those 3D printed parts that I was talking about so we can hold 14 beers inside of this thing. You can also just lift this piece off if you want to put some ice on the inside. We've got plexiglass on the bottom and then all around the side there's plexiglass. So if you want to keep your ice in there, you're all set. So I actually haven't tested out if this thing can handle the weight of the bar cart on top. So let's hit start again and see if this thing will drive around and carry our beers for us. It's already on, so let's go ahead and hit start again. Okay, the very first voyage, and it seems to be off to a good start so far. It's gonna turn around. Okay, now we just gotta get this thing filled up with some beers. Because that is gonna be the real test if it can hold up. All right, let's fill it up with all this beer. I got all the beer in here, but I forgot to put the ice in. Luckily, you just slide this top part off, and now we can pour our ice in. Okay, so just picture yourself, you're hanging out on a Sunday afternoon, mowing your lawn, and now you can have yourself a beer. Okay, so we had a little bit of a casualty, but things went back together pretty decently. So I think we should be okay to try this out one more time. Move so fast, it's hard to like get set up for an angle. As I was saying, we are back up and running. I added a little extra duct tape for a little additional support. But overall, I think this thing is an unnecessary success. Okay, so the good news. I have a freshly mowed lawn with the Works Landroid. It did a fantastic job. This place is looking excellent. On the other hand, bar cart, it's holding in there. It could definitely use a few upgrades. But overall, for unnecessary functionality, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Now, I've got about 14 beers here to drink, so I think I'm gonna start with this one, call it a day, and I will see you at the next unnecessary invention. See ya.